let's start with distant vector routing so let's say there are some routers uh, like let's say this is router a let's say it is router b let's say it is router c and let's say it is router d and these routers are connected via some links it may be path between routers right you can assume it anything that it is link between routers or it may be path between routers so let's say router a and b are connected and we are associated this 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 you we can assume this as a graph we can assume this as a graph and we can say that some weight is associated on this edges so this weight is nothing but you can we can assume that this is a weight or we can assume that this is a path or this is a cost between these two routers or this is might be the distance between two routers we can assume anything so normally let's say the weight associated on these edges are like 1 2 here it is 7 and here it is let's say 11 and here it's a, let's say it is 3 so the thing is that uh, thing is that uh, uh, right now the th the questions that uh, gate may ask you or that they will give you a short graph and they may give that they they are using distant vector routing and they may ask the final routing table and they may ask how many edges we can skip in such kind of questions so to get such kind of questions uh, let me try to start with scratch so there are four routers normally uh, any routing table if i talk about any routing table then any routing table will have normally three parts let me try to make a routing table let's say this is first part this is second part and this is third part so the first part will be destination the first part will be destination and the second part will be distance between routers distance between routers and the third part will be next hope the next part is next hope so basically the thing is that let's say i am talking about this router a i am talking about 8a 8 router a so router a will have entries like a b c and d four entries will be there now distance of a to a will be zero distance of a to a will be zero and next stop will will be a it means that after reach after using that path what is the next destination we are getting that is a so distance from a to a is zero and next stop is a because we are reaching to a now if i talk about this b then this b that is i am talking about a so a to b a to b so what is distance from a to b it is 2 and what is next of where i am reaching at b so next hop will be b now because we are making routing table for router a similarly we have to make routing table for router d router c router b but right now we are working for router a we are working at router a now if i talk about router c then from a to c from a to c there is no direct path so right now distance is infinity and next stop will be blank because if there is not any direct edge connected to it we have to make it infinity and in next stop we have to place a blank and if i talk about d then a to d we are connected with distance 1 and next stop will be d so basically this is routing table this is routing table at router a right i hope you got it that it is basically having three parts first is destination second one is distance and third one is next hope destination basically will have a b c d that is all the entries of router table in that uh, in that uh, network and distance basically if there is direct edge connected between them router then we are going to put the distance and next hope will be like the next hope will be like whatever router is connected whatever router is connected so that will be treated as a next hope now similarly we need to make it for router b so if i will go for the router b i again need to make a routing table for router b in which router b will also have this fields the first one is destination and uh, second field will be distance and third field will be next hope so again whatever all the entries are there in the network i have to take here a b c d
yeah basically a we are talking about router a so router a does not connected any edge directly with router c router a don't have any direct edge connected between a to c that, that is why we are going to put infinity here getting it because there is no any direct edge connected between a to c so it will be infinity and next stop will be blank but a to d there is a direct edge connected so i will put one here and uh, next hop will be d because uh, after a i will go to d it is like that similarly if i am making a routing table at router b at router b if i am making a routing table then destination will be a so if destination will be a then distance from b to a will be 2 because right now this edge is undirected it means that with cost 2 we can traverse from a to b as well as with cost b we can traverse from b to a so distance will be 2 here and the next hop will be if i am going from b and b to a the cost is 2 and next hop will be a now b to b b to b will be 0 it means that if we are making a routing table for router b then distance from that router to that particular router itself is 0 and next hop will be this router itself now b to c do we have direct edge yes 3 so distance between them is 3 and uh, next hop will be b to c so next hop will be c and if i talk about t then do i have direct edge connected between router b and router d yes with cost 7 so distance is 7 and the next hop will be d and the next hop will be d so it is like that it is router b it is routing table for router b now let's make a routing table for router c it is again going to have three fields destination distance and next hop so similarly as we have covered for router a and b if i make routing table for router c then destination let me try to put all the routers here now if i talk about router a so c to a there is no direct test so distance is infinity and next hop will be blank and c to b c to b distance is 3 and next hop will be b C to D, C to C, C to C is 0 and the next hop will be what? If C to C is 0, next hop will be C itself. And C to D, if I talk C to D, if I talk C to D, distance is 11 and uh, if distance is 11, next hop will be uh, D itself, right? Because C to D, next hop will be D and distance is 11. Similarly, if I make a routing table for router D, so it would be destination and uh, thereafter we are having distance and then we are having next hope so we also going to make uh, all the entries of routers here a b c d and distance from d to a is 1 and next hop will be a distance from b d to b is 7 and next hop will be b and distance from uh, uh, b this is routing table d so d to c is 11 and next hop will be C and distance from D to D is 0 and next uh, hop will be uh, D. So basically this is routing table for router A, router B, router C and router D. Right now what we have done, what we have done, we have make, we have constructed routing table for each router. So in distant vector routing, each router, each router will construct its own routing table like this, which is going to have three fields which is going to have three fields destination distance and next hop destination distance and next hop destination distance next hop destination distance and next hop it it would be like it would be like that so right now it is clear what how i constructed the routing table for each router right now it is clear is this part clear up to here Correct. Now, our target is to construct final routing table. Our target is to construct final routing table. So, final routing table, if I need to construct, then the thing that will happen here is, let's say if we talk about router A, then router A will get distant vector from router D and it will get distant vector from router B. It means that in order to make a final routing table, each router will make a distant vector table again 
with the help of neighboring routers only so what is the neighboring router of a now neighboring router of a is router d and router b yes and neighboring router of b is c d and a and neighboring router of d is c b and a and now neighboring router of d is c b a and neighboring router of c is d and b only right so if i will make final routing table for a let's say i am at a router a if i am talking and i want to make final routing table for it so i need to collect distant vector from its neighbor routers so what is neighbor routers of a it is d and b so i will collect this distant vector i will collect distant vector of uh, d that is 1 7 11 and 0 and i will again collect the distant vector of router b also because it is also neighboring router of a so here distant vector would be 2 0 3 7 as you can see 2 0 3 7 and here 1 7 11 0 they are the distant vector of router b and router d respectively now if i am making the final routing table of a so whatever what will be my destination it would be a it would be b it would be c it would be d and i need to make distance between them and after distance uh, i need to make next hop so you can see the algorithm the distant router algorithm that works that works uh, for uh, making the final routing table like this what algorithm it will use just see it so we have constructed the architecture now we need to reach from a to b we need to reach from a to b right so before reaching a to b final router table of a to a will have zero it is by default it will be there so a to a distance will be zero and next uh, you can say that next hop will be a itself because if we are making final routing table for any particular router then a to a it will be zero b to b it will be zero like that right so by default we have constructed for a now we need to construct for b c and d so if i want to construct for b so in graph i can reach from b a to b as well as i can reach from a to d d to b or a to d d to c and c to b there are many methods i don't know so in order to construct final routing table and the distance from a to b i need to take the minimum path from a to d that is a to d and thereafter somehow d to and thereafter somehow d to b similarly one more path would be there that is a to b and thereafter b to b itself b to b itself so this direct arrow means there is a direct path between these two routers this is there is direct path but this tilted arrow it means that some 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 there is no direct path it means that meanwhile some more edges are there right so indirectly we are going there so what is a to d cost of a to d so you can see there the cost of a to d is 1 plus what is cost of d to b what is cost of d to b 7 and what is cost of a to b cost of a to b is 2 and what is cost of b to b is 0 so i hope that if i am route uh, i am writing this Uh, i am writing this cost a to d so i use this a to d d to b means this d to b this is how i got 7 a to b means i got a to b from here and b to b means i got b to b 0 here so add them 1 plus 7 it is 8 and 2 plus 0 it is 2 so which is minimum 1 minimum 1 is this one a to b and b to b so i will go a to b via path 2 that is the minimum distance between a to b is 2 and next stop will be b because we are going via b so this is how i need to construct it just observe it once again just observe it once again so that it would be much clear let's say i want to traverse from a to c so what can be the path we need to choose the path which should be minimum from a to c from a to c but there is no path a to c so i need to use the nearby night board so i need to go a to d plus d to c or i may choose a to b and b to c so now just to, just to see that what is cost of a to d what is cost of a to d 1 what is cost of d to c d to c is 11 
Now, what is cost of A to B? What is cost of A to B? Cost of A to B is 2. And what is cost of B to C? B to C is 3. So, if you are going to add them 1 plus 11, that is 12. And 2 plus 3, that is 5. What is the minimum one? Minimum one is 5. So, I will choose distance 5. And next stop will be C itself. Because we are going it via C. Right. So, if you are going to C, next stop will be B. Because we are choosing B, A to B and then B to C. So next stop will be B. Right. Now similarly we need to perform, we need to go to D. So if I need to go from A to D, I need to choose the minimum path from A to D, then D to D or, or A to B and then B to D. Because we are only having two, two, two neighbor routers, two neighbor routers. B and D. So A to D cost of A to D is 1. And what is cost of D to D? 0. What is cost of A to B? 2. And what is cost of B to D? B to D is 7. So you can see here what is the minimum one? This is 1 and this is 9. Which is minimum one? 1. So I will choose distance 1 and next stop will be D because I am going via D. So you can see that with the help of Nikeborn out routers, with the help of Nikeborn neighbor routers we have constructed this table for router a for router a this is constructed as a final table so this will be treated as a final table for router a this will be treated as a final table for router a and using distant vector routing because we are using the distant vector of nikebor routers and with the help of which we have constructed this final routing table for which router for, for router a so please tell me that uh, uh, previously previously if you are going to see that uh, a to c a to c was having infinity right but right now a to c is not infinity a to c is 5 that is we are choosing to go from a to c via a nikebor router with cost 5 getting it so this is final routing table for router a similarly Final routing table for router B can be constructed with the same same strategy and similarly uh, final routing table for uh, C and final routing table for D can also be constructed using the same strategy. So please tell me that up to here it is clear that how to make final routing table for any router if it is asked in any exam. Up to here it is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah.